Do you all remember Bruno? Well, for those that don't know, Bruno is a Moroccan trilobite that I broke on accident. I'll enter the clip here. I found it. I'll zoom in too a little bit. Get some better video for you. And then after I promptly broke it by accident, I paid for it and I decided to fix it. In which, after I fixed it, immediately afterwards, it broke again. Enter the clip here. I'm probably gonna get a nice acrylic case for that. What's really funny is... And then of course, I wasn't happy with it, so I stayed up in the wee hours and I fixed Bruno again by taking everything apart and re-gluing him. I like to think that I did a pretty good job of fixing Bruno. Now, here's the thing, Bruno has a brother who we're gonna call Juno. <laughs> I did not break Juno. Uh, it, this is, belongs to someone else and uh, I offered to fix Juno. So let's fix Juno. Here's the glue that we're gonna use. This is a Starbond Medium. I would rather be using the thick Starbond, but uh, I ran into a problem and we're not using that thing. <laughs> it may have set up a little bit inside the bottle. And uh, so we're going to use the medium. This should still work for what I need it for today. And uh, don't get this on your skin. You will stick pretty well. So we're going to use that. And then we're also going to use an accelerant. So we have to sit there and hold everything together all at once. There is an, a super thin CA adhesive, which is in this bottle right here. Same thing. Uh, I got this forever ago. It's actually still pretty good. I, I do put these in smaller bottles. That way um, I don't have to keep opening this up every single time. And that way if this goes bad, I'm only losing a small bit instead of the whole bottle because that stuff's expensive. Uh, I did try to use this super thin C adhesive and um, Bruno over there. <laughs> and the issue I'm having with the super thin is... You can't really get the same one spot where you need it. That's why I like the, the thick C adhesive. That way it kind of stays. Um, so the medium should hopefully work for what we need it for. And then we're going to use um, a couple of dental picks to uh, kind of put the glue where I need it. And then a trick after, that I learned after Bruno back there for Juno is I'm going to be using, and you can see it right on there already, but we have some sticky putty that can kind of help as a third hand to help guide this in place where I need it. So I'm using a dental pick. Get that off there. And I'm basically going to use the dental pick to kind of get just a little, not even that much on there. We don't need that much. We just need a little bit. So we're just going to take a little bit. Of course, I'm going to do this kind of off camera here so I can get this uh, in, in focus. And we're going to move this back. Just like that. It's actually a little harder than I think that it looks. Before we set it up, I do want to get off some of the excess glue just a little bit. Because we don't want the excess glue to show. Just like that. We'll give it a second and kind of sit. But it's that easy. And you see kind of how that um, tack helped keep everything in place. It really helps. There are a bunch of fossils out there that have been fixed, repaired, or in some sense of the word, stabilized. And um, so if you see like delicate stuff like this, chances are that it may have been repaired. You never know. Uh, just because, yeah, these are super delicate. And all we got to do is remove our tack. 
take that. And Juno is ready to go home. If you look close enough, you can actually see where there's probably other repairs done over here. Right there on the side, right here. And also looks like it could have been right here as well where it was glued back together. So I'm not the first person to fix Juno here. In fact, it looks like it, the base may have been repaired at one point as well. Which means if you bike some kind of fossil, it doesn't matter if it's a trilobite, fish, skeleton, there's a small chance that's been repaired in some form or another. Yeah, that's how it's done. Sticky tack and glue. If, if you can, get the thick sea adhesive. That one's better. This is what I ordered on accident. <laughs> so, and it worked. It really did work. So, that's, that's how I do that. If you enjoyed my little tips and tricks on how to repair a fossil, make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It's free to do, and I'll make Juno happy. But that will do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Rock on.